Murphy. I'm a Connect Voice consultant here at Proval Tech, and today I want to go over scriptlets with you. Uh, scriptlets are very usable little functions that you can store in scripts so that you can recall them later. Uh, let's get into the more details. Uh, so first off, I just have a blank script pulled up here just for an example. Um, and a scriptlet is just under the menus here. It's the fourth option down from the top. And you'll see we have a few example ones in here for our testing purposes. Um, but you know, what really the purpose here is that you can store functions that you use a lot in other scripts or sets of functions that you use a lot in other scripts and then import them into this script almost instantaneously. So for example, if we needed to do a real quick admin credential check, we can just go to the scriptlet, insert it, and then here you'll see, okay, it goes in, it runs the location admin credentials check, it checks to see if it works, and then it'll do, it'll start the script, and then you can end your script. So it's basically like a pre-made script that you just need to put the rest of the pieces into, for example. Um, another example of one that we use is um, just adding in a quick uh, SQL data loop. So if you're trying to figure out you know, how many machines and executing an item on several machines, you can come through here, set up your SQL data set, and then it'll have all the loop counter stuff in here for you so that you don't have to go and build it from scratch every time or find a script that also has it and then copy it out and put it into this one, uh, which can be kind of a pain in the butt. Um, another good example is just having a script exit on an error or having it check to make sure it's a Windows operating system. And all you have to do is just insert these things and they're ready to go. You know, if you're writing up a new label, you come in here and you say, you know, my label. And that's significantly faster than going through here, add, then you have to go to scripts, and then you have to look for the script note. And then you have to remember that it needs the semi or the colon at the beginning, and then my label. So this way, your team doesn't necessarily need to memorize every function. They can just go and find it on the list and add it into their script. So it helps reduce a lot of the errors that people make. Um, as far as creating scriptlets go, it's very easy to do so. Uh, what you do is you first add in what you're looking for. So we'll just as an example here, I'll put that uh, script note back in. Um, so this way you can go in here and you could write in a script note or, you know, a label, for example, and say, you know, this is my label. And if that's what you always want it to be, or it could be, you know, start script, um, really whatever you need it to be. Either way, once you save it, you just need to right click on that line, go to scriptlets and hit the create button. And then it'll give you an option to save uh, the name of the scriptlet and you just hit OK. And then that will be back on your list and you'll be able to pick it out of here and add it back in. Uh, so thanks for watching. That's the idea behind scriptlets. Uh, we try to post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. Uh, to learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. Thank you.